About two months ago, me and Lucas investigated, no, inspected the Costco bakery. Mm. We don't work for the city. We aren't the people that give these places like an A or B. We took it upon ourselves to do it ourselves because we are um, independent. So now we're gonna do the Walmart bakery. Yeah. People always discredit me, try to diminish my success by saying I actually didn't go to these stores. So here's proof I was at Walmart. You see that? I'm at Walmart right now. Um, I can't really say anymore because I need to go pee really bad. Like I was kind of holding my penis the whole car right here. I'm now done shopping at Walmart. Oh my gosh, the camera's flipped the wrong way. Well, yeah, I'm done shopping at Walmart. I'll probably end up for like 10 minutes. Any other questions that you guys want to know? Cause I'll, I'm down to answer them. Wait, bitches be saying that? Um, no, but I like the energy of acting like I have a bunch oh. of haters. You know that thing? Yeah, always like giving off the vibe of everybody's against me and I'm gonna defend myself. I do actually love that vibe too. Um, I spent $34 at the Walmart Bakery. I only got like one fifth of the Walmart Bakery. They have so much shit and I'm not gonna be here Spending like two hundred dollars on bakery items. That's just pathetic. You don't got the cash? We have some carrot cake. This is a pro for Walmart because first of all I got a carrot cake that was probably like um a six inch diameter. But then I realized they had Personal use carrot cakes? Yeah, I was gonna say, this is one plus to Walmart. Costco, you can't get individual items. And, um, to be honest, I don't really give a shit. Just because I'm already eating dessert, so why would I give a shit? But they list all the nutritional info, but I don't think Costco did that. They didn't. Wait. I honestly don't get the backstory of carrot cake. How did it get invented? Like who yeah. was like, let's put vegetables into a cake. There's also um So it actually has carrot? Bread. Yeah, there actually is carrots in it. Okay, because I didn't know if it was one of these annoying ass things where isn't there another one where it isn't actually it or something? Red velvet cake when it's just chocolate cake, it's like, wait the what? Uh, don't 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 much that now. I have a whole rant about that later. <laughs> that is cute that like they put a vegetable in so you do get some nutritional benefits. It has zero percent of your potassium, but you know. I mean, that's fine. I don't believe in potassium. It has a carrot on, a carrot, carrot cock, <laughs> a cock on the front. Ooh, you see that like wetness on the top? It's like dripping. I'm gonna be judging these cakes by level of moistness. It mm. needs to be wet. It's a wet, wet cake. I got a carrot chunk. I don't taste any carrot. You actually taste the carrot? No, I don't, but I got like a chunk or something and I'm guessing it's carrot. That's really good. That's actually really good. Carrot cake, pumpkin cake, no, pumpkin pie, and sweet potato casserole are, are all the same exact thing. Yeah, no one wants to admit it. Do you care if I have a little bit of the carrot? I literally don't give a single fuck. Um. Too much frosting. Honestly, I don't like the taste of frosting. So far, like, I wanna give this Wama an A. They're starting out on the right foot, but stay tuned because something bad could happen. After dinner, going to Wama, getting this slice. This slice is big as fuck. I, like, that's, that's a good slice. Oh, did it say it was one serving, by the way? Half a cake. Oh, okay. I, I wanna I degrade, I wanna like, Make fun of them for I know, because no one's gonna buy this and split it. Little ramen noodle baby packets have two servings. It's That's like dumb. Are these like little I was gonna say munchkin people, but then I forgot like there actually are like little people. So I'm not like I'm nothing against them. But you just tackle I'm just saying like is this for little people, but then I realized like, oh there are little people. So oh, actually yeah. then I took it back and educated myself. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's so funny that we keep that was saying, um, that's so annoying that a solving is half a cake when we each had one bite. But like the reason why I had one bite is just because like I don't want any more. But if it we're was, saving like, this all for later. We we have twelve more desserts left. Oh okay, yeah, like we're gonna give this to Alfada's family. Mm. Like we have a bunch of fat siblings and they like eating it. Yes, our fat siblings love when we do these videos. No, our siblings aren't fat if you're watching this. You guys are like so so fit and so hot. <laughs> it's not close to kind of something's hot, I guess, but you know, like why can't we just say hot in a loving way? I don't um view fat as negative. Oh, you do? Uh, you do? <laughs> I'm just saying, like, <laughs> you know, a lot of people view it as negative. <laughs>
Okay, let's just move on to the next thing. <laughs> Finally, I can do the ramp. Yeah, okay. Right about the cake. I actually remember the first time I had it. So, um, it's actually funny because it sounds like I'm like trying to be like, I just like, it sounds like I'm trying to be like, yeah, like Hollywood. <laughs> so, Lucas used to have this Nickelodeon show and I would go there on Fridays. And, um, one of the, one of your co-stars moms bought red velvet cake. And I think this was my very first time having it. And I was like, red velvet cake? <laughs> but it just is chocolate cake. I don't know. I'm who? glad she made it, but yeah. So basically, some bakery decades ago, they only knew how to make chocolate cake and they wanted to act like they had a new item. So they just dyed it red. Is that honestly what happened? Or is there some sort of difference we don't know about? Is it literally just chocolate cake with red dye? There is a difference, but I don't know what it is. And I'm not going to take the time to Google it. Yeah. Although it's a scam, I do kind of like how it's red. It does kind of give it a new vibe, which I, I like find I'd, fun. Yeah, I'd always pick red velvet over chocolate just because it's red. Yeah. I feel like that makes us seem like we're like preschoolers, though. I know, <laughs> wanting a colorful dessert. <laughs> this one also has a lot of wetness on top. I forgot the word that's called. I think it's called condensation. Because everyone does want their desserts moist. Do you think they do like have... Some sort of like precipitation system in this? No, I think they actually started putting Joe Max on the dessert because of like the <laughs> pandemic. Oh, probably. By the way, I am actually saw the bagels in there. Wait, did they have like a baking outfit on? I forgot, but like they were actually bagels. Mmm. <laughs> mm. I like it because it has the classic birthday party cake taste. <laughs> it doesn't even really taste like chocolate. It doesn't, but it tastes like a birthday cake. Mm. That's the funny thing about like getting wedding cakes. Cause like, I swear like they just taste like rig. No cake tastes different to me. I don't know if I just don't have an advanced palate, but I feel like maybe you should just get your wedding cake at Walmart. Cause like, they all just taste the same. This isn't really good to me, to be honest. I liked it. You did? Mm, well, that's okay. We have a different opinion. You can put it in your back pocket for later. Oh. Ooh. Why are you so crummy? I'm excited for these bitches. Oh. I love cinnamon rolls. There's probably people out there who don't like cinnamon rolls. Cause for me, I see some of these desserts, like muffins, for example, and I'm like, oh, I don't really like those. There's probably people out there who don't view cinnamon rolls as like the holy mecca of desserts. Oh, cinnamon rolls, out of everything we've tried so far, I'm most excited. They're for. so good. And the mini, and I'm, um, I'm just, I love mini food. I was about to say fiend. But fiend is anything like a fun to, right? I like I'm a fiends. fiend for this. You know what I'm saying? I think that's fine because you did brandos for best fiends back in the day. Oh yeah. By the way, you can still use my code. <laughs> um, but yeah, like um, I'm like a fiend for this stuff because I just like being able to eat like five of them. We are from Nebraska, and it's a Nebraska delicacy to eat cinnamon rolls with chili. Mmm. Like, look at these up close, please. Okay, like, just tell me. Oh. If you have a penis, you're like. You didn't orgasm with your vagina, you didn't get what? I've never experienced being what, but like, I'd picture it's good. These do get overdue in two weeks. So um, if oh. you're gonna get these, you probably should get them if you have like That's a, a good amount family. of time though. One a day for two weeks. If we had a microwave, it'd be butthole. But I Lucas know. doesn't believe in microwaves. <laughs> you do have to like warm up this type of shit to get the full effect. Mm -hmm. Mine's like kind of dry. Also, there is a smell I don't like. This is like chemicals. You smell that? It smells like a literal like cleaning supply. <laughs> There's a subtle taste of red hot gum in mine. I think when you add too much cinnamon, it turns into a red hot gum. Yeah. <laughs> Try harder next time. This for me was a flop. Yeah. Um. I was expecting them to be way better. Like you always need to have slightly low expectations because I was pitching me in this punt house. And it's not even about money, guys. It just was like a vision I had. Like, me in this punt house, and then like, put my fuck into the cinnamon roll, and like, it's, like, like I'm, it was like, it was like so much soap everywhere, so much yeah. like, frosting, and then like, after that, like, I go golfing, even though like, I don't even like golfing. But I'm just fantasy you would. Yeah. Yeah. I wasn't expecting ooey gooey drooey, like slimy, slippery. <laughs> but they just weren't like that. But the best cinnamon rolls are ooey gooey. Yeah, this wasn't a cream pie. <laughs> Honestly, Isn't I think, a cream pie like a sexual thing? Yeah, but it's, I think everything is now though. Oh, that's true. Like I feel like in 10 years, like someone's gonna say like, oh, like, have you noticed like when someone puts their finger on their arm, I get the biggest bone. It's like, why did it like, <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I forgot to make my thing. Ooey gooey, pussy gooey, oh, got my ooey, ooey gooey. gooey. My ooey gooey, slimy pussy. <laughs> Not by too far. But then again, if there's a line, cross it. Um, yeah, honestly, I didn't really enjoy them that much. I didn't. 
No, I know the crowds are screaming. I bet one of you guys honestly like fall off your um recliner chair. Like <laughs> they have um a cheesecake factory right there. This isn't branded as cheesecake factory. They actually kind of sweet multi-grain rolls. If they did like a little bit a step step above like restaurant sweet multi-grain yeah. rolls. You know Cheesecake Factory may be like, Lost it. how are we gonna sue? But yeah. no, they like play it safe, which I like. But from looking at it, you're like, oh, the cheesecake bread, and they understood that. Yeah, and like, there's a mold at the bottom. What is that? <laughs> no, it's, it's flour, guys. <laughs> I love the cheesecake brown bread, but I never really had it dry. You always have to dip it in the butter. And I feel like it's only good if it's at Cheesecake Factory. This is with so many other things when restaurants make it available at grocery stores, it's never good. But also it's a thing where like, I, every time I've ever been to Cheesecake Factory, I love the bread, but there's just certain things you don't want at home. Like, well, I don't so, want that shit at home. Never. Cheesecake Factory does sell it at some select stores, and like, I would, since I'm like a business person, I would advise from not doing that next it time. It does ruin the brain. Do you want a share goal? Yeah. I want the middle one. <laughs> this is Who a good idea. Like <laughs> oh yeah, comp love. Good idea for what? Um, like a family gathering. You know how there's always rolls at family gatherings? Oh, but you never yeah. have a roll if you're making dinner by yourself. It's only at a gathering you have rolls. Hmm. Oh, it's nothing like the blood. It's soft on the outside. Yeah, the cheesecake one is so hard on the outside than a little warm center, but... I mean, I'm not gonna lie, it does kind of like the cheesecake factory blood. A little bit. Yeah, just a different texture, but I think they got the taste down. I mean, it did what it was supposed to do. It's a Cheesecake Factory, Cheesecake Factory knockoff. If you made a sandwich with it, it'd be good. I had high expectations and it didn't meet it. But the thing is, it did everything that like, it is. it tastes just like Cheesecake Factory bread. What else can it do? But somehow it still didn't like win us over. No. This show, sometimes you do everything right, but everyone still hates it completely. That's why you just have to believe in yourself. Let, you can't let up. What I'm trying to say is that you need to believe in yourself before others believe in yourself because then it's gonna stick with you. If others believe in you and then you start to believe in yourself, it's gonna go away once they don't believe in you. Have a thought about that? Write that one down. <laughs> <laughs> this is the cutest little pie. Okay, backstory. On my Costco video, this comment has stuck with me through thick and thin. Someone said, just a little tip, Jakey Poo. I made up the Jakey Poo thing. Mm -hmm. Try this sweet potato pie, this exact one. I got a mini one. Whoever wrote that, I'm gonna find your comment, but thanks for suggesting it. Now we're gonna try it and I'm glad to give you a review of what I think. I am scared because looking at it, I think I'm gonna love it because I love pumpkin pie, but I never really like sweet potato stuff. It tastes the same though. Maybe, we'll see if it does. I've never had sweet potato pie. This is a very first time. But just so you guys know, they're considering this one serving. If they were gonna try to say this is three servings, I was about to call the customer service oh. online. But yeah. I love when products are branded with one specific person. There's this yeah. lady on the back. What's her name? Patty. Patty, Patty, Wait, LaBelle. Patty LaBelle. That's she's famous. I don't know what for, but that sounds so familiar. Patty LaBelle. She's like a Broadway star or something. You have to Google it. Well, I do. Who is Patti LaBelle? Patricia Louise Holton, best known as Patti LaBelle, is an American singer and actress. Do you want me to keep reading? No, no. bitch. Stop. Also, you're gonna have to bleep when you say Siri. Oh, because I wouldn't think it's so mom. I never knew Siri said like, uh-huh, when you said her name. I know, it's kind of it too, baby. I know, it's like, girl, why are you always listening? I know, it's fucking creepy. It's like, I know what we talk about is really interesting, but this is get out. And they only listen to us, I swear. I know. Because like, they like know we're like the future leaders of the world. I know, that's what's scary about it. Go off Patty! Is, am I gonna approve of Patty? Is there questions? I love it. I don't think I've ever had sweet potato pie before, but I like it. It's, it's different than pumpkin pie, but like, it's damn good. It reminds me so much of Halloween. Oh my God, that is good. Am I a sweet potato bitch now? Patty! Patty, Patty, Patty. Oh, I wonder if Patty knew the power she had, because like, she needs to know. I know. Um, I mean, again, if she knew the power she had, she might be, too conceited. Oh, I to love the, her. To the person that recommended it, you might not even watch my videos anymore because it turns out most people that watch my videos never watch them again, but thanks for suggesting it. And like these little cute pies, were there other pies? Mm, not from pie, but Wama had all these little cute pies. That's a pro oh for Wama. God. They had all these mini pies, so if you're a loner, you live in the woods, <laughs> <laughs> buy a bunch of these and you have enough for yourself. Yeah, because the thought of buying an actual pie, I don't think I would ever do that. Not even kidding, ever. But knowing that these little pies exist, I would maybe get one or two a week for a little treat. Mm. 
Mm. A little treat from Patty? That was yeah. a win. Yeah, this is probably like two dollars. All Patty does is win, win, win no matter what. This was 50 cents. Shut up! Patty! <laughs> oh my god, a two quarters. Oh my, okay, it feels like I'm back in the 80s. Is that cheaper think. than like a dessert at McDonald's? I'm confused. I feel like an apple pie from McDonald's would be more than that. Oh, I swear, I could get um a baby Ruth bow and it'd be like two dollars. Holy shit! Is it made out of just like dirt? Of shit, probably. <laughs> no, but I know. Actually, I think she just, you know what? Like, we don't need to price it so high. I feel like she's like taking a loss. She's like, I'll literally pay for people. Like, she's not making money, but. <laughs> that would be so funny. She's losing money from selling it on my mom. But she's that passionate. Go off, Bestie. Because, like, you should try to say Bestie a lot in your videos. Because, like, the new thing. Oh, Bestie. I know it's weird because things literally do go in a circle. I'm 20 years old and I swear. I've been in a circle twice. And this isn't even trying to be like funny. So the a circle was when I was like 10, people used to say busties. And now I'm going on the circle again because busty is like in again. Oh. So like how many circles have you been in? Like three? I think it's gone like around 10 times at least in my life. <laughs> oh. Next up we have sugar sandwich cookies. Macaroons I thought. It says cookie. Oh, I thought they were macaroons. They aren't. I thought they were though. I don't know if you thought you were in France, but you were at Walmart. Okay. A bitch went off. <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, my particular palette doesn't find stuff like this. Like, I don't like how, I don't know something about it. I think I'm a kid at how. I think we just have different palettes. Like, so it just looks unappealing to you. For some reason, I think it's just, yeah. It's all about um, how you feel on the inside. So like, so like, what's like more your vibe? I think I would prefer it was like an Oreo vibe. Oh, so more like neutral color. Yeah, like just seeing the pale cookie, just something about it. But obviously, you know, you loved it. Yeah. Basically, what they were going for was, I don't know what this type of cookie is called, but, oh, a sandwich cookie, but basically it's two butt cheeks with ice cream <laughs> in the middle. They should put ice cream in it, but I guess it wasn't in the freezer. For some reason, I remember like a meme of that. Or it's like a butt cookies. with like a sub in the middle. It's like a butt. I remember that being like a meme people will send on MSN. Like people are walking around with like, Pan between the butt cheeks. You know most people gross. are. It's just because they want to try it. <laughs> you know, like, why don't I try it if I'm, if I've talked about it, I'm honestly interested in it, right? Isn't that how it works? Like, I don't yeah. just munch it for no reason. Go off, go off, go bestie. Don't I share one? Sure. What happened? I don't think I can, like, rip it. Actually, oh. I don't think I can rip it. Actually, I kind of do like it. You it's weren't feeling too it? much for me. I'm not even joking, it's too much blasting and sugar. It tastes exactly like those one cookies that are always at stores, you know, where there's a like thick ass cookie with a thick thing of frosting? Exactly like that. And yeah, like, it does have a lot of frosting, but I do kind of like it, in a way. This is the type of thing where I'm only having one of them, if I'm in a full Oh, we yeah, have stomach ache. There's like a thick layer of frosting, the cookie is sweet as a... Uh, I'm gonna say it, some things can be too sweet in life and with food. It just shows looks don't mean anything. I looked at it and said, ew, I loved it. Jacob looked at it and said, go off, and he hated it. Just shows you never can judge a book by its cover. Yeah, you really should understand everyone before making judgments. So no one can make a judgment on me because no one understands me. <laughs> Oh, Jay-Z, pound cake. He said pound cake. Remember he called Beyonce a pound cake? He did? I think. Then, but then she made a reply and said, you wish I was your pound cake. Oh yeah, and what about songs? Yeah, so, uh, I don't know. This is a butter pound cake. Ooh. Honestly, I mostly got it because I thought it was funny, pound cake. Like, what if, is pound cake just, it's more, um, um, it's not airy or something? I would assume it weighed a pound, but this weighs 12 ounces and 16 ounces is a pound. Oh. So it does make you wonder, why didn't they just add the extra four ounces to make it a pound? Hopefully I'm not a dumb, I hope 16 ounces is actually a pound, right? I think. Probably. I just connected the dot dots. Jay-Z called Beyonce his pound cake because they pound. Oh but yeah. Beyonce said they don't pound? I think maybe, I don't really know the backstory. I'm sure there's some beehive people out there who know it all. But from my interpretation, I feel like she was saying like, I am his pound cake, but like, you wish I was your pound cake to the listener. Oh, that makes yeah. sense. That's a, that's a boss move. Butter pound cake. So this is just filled with butter. Yeah, I'm so excited because I swear if I wasn't doing this video, the, the 
first time it has, like the next time I have a cake like this is in, when I'm like 45 <laughs> and I'm just like in New Orleans for some reason. Like it's never gonna happen yeah. unless I'm doing this video. It's like the most unassuming cake, but I just know it's gonna be good. I think it's gonna be boring, but good. What the fuck? It wasn't what I was expecting. It's chewy. It will show up on cake. Weirdly, like, I kind of like it. Like, I almost like how plain Jane it is. I know this is so wasteful, but is it annoying if I just eat from the middle? I'm going to. I don't give a fuck anymore. I don't give a fuck about anything anymore. Our fat siblings will still eat it if you do that. Yeah. Well, I'm like, I'm kind of in love. <laughs> I love it. Like, when I first ate it, I was like, this is so fucking boring. But then I got to know it, and I'm like, wait, I picture myself having a full slice of this and loving it. Like, like you do need ice cream. For dessert, this doesn't need any fucking ice cream. I know. If you added a little bit of butter. But butter I, already has butter, but like more. <laughs> but I will admit, like. It's literally called a butter pound cake. <laughs> Part of me was eating it and I just kept replaying in my mind. I don't even know what song it is, but I pulled the song and I just kept replaying in my mind. You wish I was your pound cake. And like, mm -hmm. I feel like just picturing that whole like persona of being like, you wish I was. And like, I did get my experience at least. Not even joking. I loved it. This is so good. I like how it's chewy. And I know it sounds like gross, but it's good. Is this the crown jewel? Uh, what does that mean? I think it's the best. I actually don't know. Uh, the Holy Mecca. Yeah, it's Isn't good. that from a Halloween song? <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm from Holly Grove, the Holy Mecca. But the way he says it, that's so funny. The Holy Mecca. He says it something like that. <laughs> I've never actually heard Lil Wayne talk. I'm gonna like watch an interview with him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh... Like, this is 100% the best one so far. I'm gonna try to say this in the nicest way possible, but can you guys please move on to the next item? This is becoming too long of a segment for one food item. We get it, you love it, move the F on. We don't care that much about you guys. Something I know, about, I loved it. I love how with normal, okay, normal cake, it's like, okay. Even with like a bunk cake, it's like so thick. It's like, mmm. Mm. But I like how this has no frosting, first of all. It's plain as up, but when you bite in, it's like bubble gum in a weird I way. I know. And the, you know what the Coco Chanel quote that everyone lives by? What? Before you leave home, take off two accessories. That's sort of the vibe of this. Like, they could have added all oh, sprinkles, all this stuff, but they said, let's strip it down. I mean, let's strip it down and keep it simple. Wait, but why would you take out? I thought you'd add two successes before you. Oh take. no! The theory is like, don't ever do too much. Whatever you think is enough is too much. Tone it down. Oh wait, so is that like a metaphor for life, or is that does it should not be taken? I think it's just about the her. But like my thing is, I never even wear accessories, so I don't. Oh know. yeah. Maybe back in like the '30s or whenever she was alive. I don't think I'd ever wear accessories because I just find it annoying. Yeah. But if you do this, isn't hate. Now we have a savory item that was in the bakery. What? Yeah. By the way, like some of these are branded out with like the butter pound cake was just Wama. And then Wama has this, it's like a Wama brand. It's called Market Side. But yeah, this oh. is a spinach and ricotta pastry. Um, It was in this warm section. It has been sitting out for the last like two hours, but. It's fine. <laughs> okay. What is this? I think it's like a breakfast. A spinach and ricotta, flaky pastry. Yeah, I think you'd eat it for like either a snack or breakfast. Oh my. <laughs> okay, let's try it. I'm gonna have like a big bite. By the way, I love the whole energy of like spinach, but let's have cheese and like all this other shit so you can't even taste it. Oh, it smells so good, first of all. Oh my god. Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm not even kidding. You wish that was your pound cake. <laughs> and, then, and then it's mixing with that no way it's like the holy matter. <laughs> I am not kidding. This is so good. I'm not kidding. I love it. I am obsessed. Were there different flavors of this? Yeah, there's like three other ones. Oh my god, I have to stock up. If you're gonna buy one thing, buy this. I How about know. Like QVC. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, I didn't know like um, what do people call it? Not like a kickback. Yeah, like a kickback on this. It was literally amazing. The holy mother. I know, literally. I might be a croissant bitch. Damn. Ugh, some just classic. You the table. Some classic ass <laughs> cupcakes. Oh, this is that assortment of chocolate and vanilla. Nothing special about them at all. Just classic cupcakes. I just learned like six months ago what what um an alternative meaning of vanilla is. Like it means like you're just like boiling, I guess. Oh yeah. Your vanilla. You know, just a vanilla person. 
<laughs> Which like, I honestly think like when I get down to the roots, like I actually am a vanilla person. I'm gonna eat the chocolate. For some reason, I always hate getting to this point of these eating videos because I already hate it because I just don't want to eat any more sweet stuff. You're supposed to like have like a chow and then like eat the perfect amount each time. Yeah, for some reason I'm just like, I hate it. Okay, I'll eat vanilla since you're eating chocolate. Vanilla cupcakes, especially these ones, you guys know what I'm talking about. These boring ass ones, it's gonna taste like nothing. I know it. I'm eating this in a way I don't usually eat it, by the way. Like, you know people eat like this? I usually don't do that. Usually I lick all the frosting off and then eat this. Oh, I, I've done that before. Also, I just am annoyed with those people that do those hacks. Cut off the bottom and it's like a cupcake cake. Oh, and then you don't eat the bottom? No, you cut off the bottom and then it's like, you don't have to touch the frosting and you hold it like a oh, cake. Oh, like a sandwich? It's a cool idea, but it gets to a point where I'm mad for some reason. I haven't ever seen that. No, it's, it's like a thing. Don't you watch like a lot of food hack videos? <laughs> 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 Mm. I mean, it literally just tastes like something you make at home. Like nothing special at all. I almost think if you made them at home, it'd be better. Yeah, it wasn't good. This is so boring. I feel like I need something else. Like, for example, I love cupcakes when they're in the ice cream cone. Mm. Cause then it has a crunch. But on its own, it's like, ew. I legit wouldn't want to ever eat this. Like it just, it's just so dumb. Like if I'm gonna have a cake, I want it to be good. Uh-uh. It's so dumb. It's dumb. We used to live across the street from Sprinkles Cupcakes in Hollywood. And Jacob would always go over there and eat cupcakes. Oh yeah, <laughs> every day. Cupcake. I like totally because yeah, like um, I'm gonna like like live with you for six months so like I can get my career started. Nope. Every day cupcakes. The cupcake that, cupcake this, cupcake that. <laughs> yeah. Even if this was the first thing we tried, I'd still say it's dumb. I uh, freaking hate it. Okay, a little, ooh, a cheesecake um cup. Like, just like we were saying, like, what food? Yes, this is what food. It's not like we're talking yes. about cat food. This is gonna be good. I, I love, love cheesecake. So like, whenever I go to yogurt land, I always get little cheesecake bites. Oh yeah, taco French style cheesecake mousse. Ooh, French. Perishable, keep refrigerated. You don't need to keep it refrigerated, just a little pork chip. JK, like, I, I actually should keep it refrigerated. I don't wanna be responsible for someone getting food sick. Oh, I love cheesecakes like this where they're like no bake cheesecakes. Mmm. When cheesecakes get too hard, I start not liking them. I decided, it's funny that you mentioned that, I don't like normal cheesecake anymore. It's mm. way too much. I, I literally think it looks good and I think it tastes good. One bite's good enough. After that, mm. I'm done. I love this. When cheesecake isn't hard and it's wet like this, <laughs> It isn't as rich. Mm. Like you said, regular cheesecake, way too rich. This is delicious. Yeah, I've really enjoyed. And it actually tastes like cheesecake. I love turtle stuff. I don't know what it means. I still don't know what it means, but- It's like, like caramel and chocolate and nuts, I think. Yeah. Yeah, this little cheesecake cup is it. Why not how to- What the fuck? Now, as I was saying, why not how to bunch of donuts? And you know, I could have tried all the donuts, but I got these one donuts that I don't even brand it as Wama, but they were in the bakery section. This is still a bakery video. <laughs> branded as, this is probably from like another country, but um, Paziki. Paxiki? Paxiki. I want to know like what donuts. What country this is, because that's like, I love like the vibe of this. Is I it know, like German really or cool. something? Oh, it's Poland. Oh, our German, oh that's what. See you guys, like I know my shit. It said um, our German neighbors to the West also eat these. So yeah, like I did, when I said it was German, like don't be like, oh, it was Polish. Like, it's kind of like that vibe. <laughs> yeah, it's a <laughs> Polish custom to enjoy the Paxis. These are apple Paxis and some of them have powdered sugar, some of them have frosting. And I'm gonna say it, my favorite donut is a jelly donut and I'm pretty sure oh, this yeah. is, might be the same. Seeing this box, I know there's someone out there who feels this too and didn't know how to express it. White Castle? No. When I see this, I picture Lady Gaga and House of Gucci with that snow thing on her head. Well, do you get it at all? I do get what you mean, and I'm actually happy that Walmart sells this brand because it doesn't seem like a Walmart brand. I know, I love how it's like, yeah, Polish. I'm gonna have the frosted one because the powdered sugar one's like this. Yeah, the powdered sugar one's still are filled with jelly though, right? Because if jelly doesn't splatter down my throat when I'm about uh, to do this. I want to be a thing where like, um, you know like, um, I like cream pies. I think I want like a cream pie. Being I in my know. Face. Everyone has to admit when you bite into a donut, it goes Poof, like it just blurts into your mouth and gags you. It's the best thing ever. Ah. Uh, by the way, like I'm, I don't watch like those cream pie videos, but I know it's like a big thing, and I'm assuming some of you guys do. So I'm not really late, you know. <laughs> the thing is, that's the second time you've mentioned 
clean pie in this video. So there must be a correlation to you mentioning it. <laughs> yeah. Do you think it's gonna be filled with um thick red jelly or like the white jelly? Do you like the white cream? Oh no, this is apple though. So I, oh. I think like apple pie, it won't be as good as well. It's not gonna splatter, it's gonna be like thick. Oh, no. I have a pet peeve with mine because I bit in and I haven't gotten to the little juice yet, which pisses me off as a listener. I mean, as an eater. The donut's good. Is yours really good? I spit, but yeah. Actually, it isn't. <laughs> it's like soap. I love the branding so much I don't care how it, how it tastes. I'm not even kidding. The branding is enough. Let me get to the middle, though. To be honest, I just wouldn't ever get an apple donut. Like I said, if you're going to fill a donut with some sort of liquid, it better splatter. I don't want none of this, like, thick, drippy stuff. That was mussy. I have to give it a downgrade for how mussy it was. Oh. Do my lips have the powder on them? Yeah, a little bit. I remember I used to think that was so cool when people had that. Wait, why hasn't like Kylie Jenner or someone made powder lipstick? That would look so fucking oh. cool if it was white powdered sugar. That would just be so chic. See, you could do different colors. How about you just put a little bit of lipstick on it and then you overlay it with a powder lipstick? And That'd be like, so cute. Oh, no, or, like, or like white pink even. Oh my God, powdered donut lips. That'd be is, good. That's 2022. I'm gonna say I love it because the idea of it. I didn't love the taste. But the branding alone, they did that. Like when I picture Walmart Baker, I pictured cardboard boxes, the most boring shit. This is elevated, Beverly Hills. I am not gonna say um I hate Poxies because I've only had one Poxy, so how would I yeah. fucking know? Last up, we have a strawberry parfait. Are they trying to brand it as like? Healthy, cause like parfait. And everybody always used to think parfaits were healthy, cause they were they're like the healthy thing at McDonald's for a while. Oh, uh, like, get parfait for parfaits. <laughs> so good for you. So this just has like strawberry jelly cake and frosting. I would assume. I have no effing idea. I'm assuming I'll like this. I've always liked these types of things. <laughs> it's stressful getting like a bite oh. with every layer. I love the layer of this. Like oh, so many layers. That jelly flavor is so good. And the cool thing about it, guys, it's not frosting. It's some like cheesecake thing, this white stuff. Oh. If it was frosting, I would have effing hated it. This is good. Like, this is another one of those desserts I like. Yeah. But I think I also like this one also because um of the visual. <laughs> yeah, it's good, but um now thinking back at it, like, it just isn't like. I'd rather just have like ice cream instead of that cheesecake shit. Yeah. It's cute. Wow, so $34 later, we've tried our 12 desserts from Walmart, probably 120th of the bakery section. If we're comparing it to Costco, if someone's wondering, um, they have way more options at Walmart. It's cheaper at Walmart. Wasn't it better? Um, I just experienced this, so it's so fresh in my mind, but like part of me thinks that this was way better. Just like the portions, everything about it. Like, remember also at Costco, they said no one thing you had to buy like everything in pairs of two and stuff. Like, oh yeah. I just, they have the vibe at Walmart. They also have Patty LaBelle. Like, where's Costco's Patty? Yeah, they probably don't. But I did just say, if you, if you're like looking for bulk shit, because that's not yeah. what Costco's whole thing is. I guess they have like big ass muffins. That's true. But who the fuck would want a big ass muffin? I loved it. I was expecting to like hate this and think it was yucky. Walmart's doing it with a bakery section. I loved it. Okay, we should probably go now. Okay. You can subscribe to both of us and bye. Goodbye, Zs. Bye.